then Brown and Golding. Race two at Bathurst. Can Mostert spoil the Red Bull story that's been so strong so far? And the answer to that off the jump is yes. He's put power to the road, grabs second gear, and he shoots it off the turn one in the lead. And up on the outside is Golding. Golding's done a great job, but we've got trauma at the back of the pack. Cam Hill's in trouble there together with Macaulay Jones. We'll unpack more of that. Let's rock it up Mountain Straight for the first time. It is Mostert, it is Golding, then Feeney, then Brown, then Reynolds. So already the order has been scrambled. How's the fresh air? Mozzie's bolted, 1.2 seconds, down the shoot he goes. Chas Mostert in the lead from James Golding, Brock Feeney, Will Brown, David Reynolds, Thomas Randall, Will Davis and Jack LeBrock. Deep Pasquale and Percat out 10, and the move, a move, a move down the inside for Feeney. And they end up with a position where they bump and grind, and off goes Golding. And the awkward rejoin there, he loses spots in the process. Have to be careful here now, David Reynolds got to turn in. So that was almost one of those scenes that we saw with Tander and Winkup and McLaughlin a few years ago because as they were rejoining, David Reynolds was in the centre and all but made contact as they come down under the bridge into the final corner. Watch this jump from Mostert. Have a look on the outside of the front row. Just drove away and Golding almost went with him. So those two people on the clean side there, beautiful. And it was Ryan Wood, wasn't it, with Cam Hill, I think, at the start? That's now, Cam Hill. Yeah, so keep an eye on what happens here. It's, I think it's three of them end up tangling here. Oh, so, okay, it's a Penwright car that looks like it's made contact, pretty heavy contact with Cam. Cam Waters now, what does this reveal? Well, you watch Ryan Wood on the inside, so that's where the contact, three cars, yeah. Penwright car, with Cam Hill, and then on the inside was Ryan Wood. It's a game of cat and mouse and tiny movements. The sense where oh, and Mostert in, and followed by Feeney. That releases Will Brown. Gets a little bit of fresh air now. See whether he can make some profit. How's the way Mozzie <laughs> full-blown hustled that thing over the top of the curbs and then graunches it into the pit lane to engage the pit limiter. So that was full-blown arrival. Four we the, talk about how you, how nicely you treat your race car. I, How's that? <laughs> uh, I love that stuff. That's fantastic. This is Cameron Hill's car. It was damaged in the opening lap. Back to Chas Mostert. Four wheels and tyres. Go, 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 go. Good work, good work. Yeah. That was a nice stop. Beautiful. Now they're looking here. Oh, he hasn't been able to get away. Yeah, Penalty. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go, 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 go. Yeah, so, sorry, I was not on the uh, on the penalty stakes. I was I was looking at the car coming down the pit there, going. They need to be able to get get this thing back out there. So nice job. In comes our leader. It's a killer driving all the way down that pit lane. white line that he's just crossed is the release for the pit lane limiter and he's going to stay left of that floppy, that plastic floppy there and the painted white line before he rejoins on Mountain Straight. You're not allowed to cross that either on entry or exit. Premier Newlon Racing, Tim Slade, what's going on here? So uh, whoop, a little bit too wild oh, on oh, the oh, way in. Oh, oh, so wild that he actually got the tyre bundle. So uh, he's done a little bit of sign writing down the right hand side of that car. High stakes chess at the moment between Walkinshaw and Ritty United with Triple Eight Race Engineering. And the two balls are setting second and third at the moment, stalking this man who made a ripping start, bolted, lost some margin. We scratched our head a little bit, but he's been pretty decently strong on the second tyre set, and they're now starting to react. So, Feeney in from position number three. Mm. Now, he was only a second, a bit 1.2 seconds behind. So uh, what will be interesting here is to whether or not he gets any undercut benefit by getting out on those tyres. 
about three more bays, two more bays. Swing across now, please. Okay, make sure you got a gear about five, but be ready to go. Get some revs up, be ready. Standing by, you're gonna be clear. Go, go, go. Alright, mate, four cold green tides. Should we clear an exit? Bring them up nice and easy, bring them up nice and easy. Oh, there you go. That's, uh, that's the chat. That's the key, isn't it? Just looking after those tyres. And we all know that the in and out laps are critical to the overall picture. It's not just the time through the pit lane. That was a moment. Matt Song almost went off then, Neil. Yeah. He's coming in, I think. He is, but he almost went off. He was so close to going off the road. And following. So Brown with him. So this is going to be worth the price of entry, watching these two teams do their thing here. So big pressure moment on both organisations. And where does Brock Feeney play into this as well? So he's okay, got mate. the we benefit of being on his new so we'll tyre already. Yeah, we'll watch the rejoin. It looks like Brown made some ground there. 2.1. Yeah, Brown made some Single point coupling on the refuelling. Four wheels and tyres. BPE 75 right. going in at on. two and a half litres a second. Hurry up. Don't worry about the jelly. Watch the wheel, watch the wheel. Get the wheel on. Get the wheel on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay. Wheels are done. Feels done. Sure. Are you ready for it? Are you ready? Go, go, go. That's Anthony McDonald saying, hurry, hurry, hurry. Watch, we go. watch this, watch the release, it's going to be tight, it's going to be tight. And he's got him, they've snipped him. So Brown's got him at a critical moment. Where's Feeney in all this as well? Hazelwood's the leader. Now that has changed the complexion of the race. There's lots of different elements to this. There's the in-lap, the out-lap, how the stop was done and what fuel they took. Here's the replay of the stop. So we're watching right side changes here. So that was the right front, I think, yeah. was where the problem was. Yeah, now the next one's going on. Garth has been able to tell me that that tyre that did go on had a heap of build-up and pick-up on it. So the one that was going on was the fresh one. The one that ended up going on was a not so fresh one. Stataway, big lock up down the inside, dirty side of the road, big battle with Davison and Will crisscrosses back down the inside as they argue over 10th place at the moment. There's probably a mark on Richie's tire after that one. Oh, that's brave. Probably needed to just release the brake a little bit and turn in earlier there, Richie. It continues, Davison and Stanaway. Oh, he's going to try to get up the inside. He, no, don't do that. That would be a monster shunt. Okay, last lap, last lap. A little under six kilometres remaining now. The margin's 1.8 seconds. Brock's got that gap back to 1.6. He continues to slam every last little bit out of that car in the quest to try and make it a 1-2 for Red Bull this afternoon. Just a few hundred metres separating this guy now from a very important victory and mastering one of the trickiest race tracks in the world in very, very fine style. How's that for a margin across those three cars at the end of it? There's nothing in this after an hour and 27 minutes of racing. To the final corner. Will Brown pulls it up nice and straight. Three great drivers, two great teams, and today oh, for race number on, two, Will Brown gets the nice job work. done for his first That's win of the season. So that is our podium. Brown, Mostert, and Feeney. Thomas Randall confirming a fourth position for him, and then James Golding, David Reynolds, Matt Payne, Jack LeBrock went straight ahead up at Skyline on that lap. And position number nine, Nick Perkett, and our 10th position falls then to Will Davison at the end.